Let's go. So, last time I finished Gaia Prime, I saved the Nora and went to talk, got the Gaia message. Now I need to talk to King Avad. Folks in the claim who think we're putting on airs after the meridian. Move along. You have no need to lawyer around here. It's only the ones you would expect that will cause you trouble. That's this is the way out. That's the way to the palace. Always stay bright, always stay alert. That's what I say. Don't ask me where to go if you're lost. I'm not lost, I know exactly where I'm going. Don't look to me for help. My duty is to guard. I don't get involved in politics. Who asked you? Some Osram girl applied to the city guard the other day. King of Ad. Aloy. What brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call. Waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the city guard fortify the western ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. <laughs> Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now. It will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Talk to Blameless Marad. Quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the ridge of defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for Shards. But many came for you, by name. Yeah, I sent them here. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? 
Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. Good. You're welcome to tour the defenses. Spire. And the Spire. <coughs> Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. Good. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. I'll check it out, but I do have something I need to do. Okay, so before everything... Before all of that... Let's... Let's get that armor. Everything is done. Total lasso. Huh, I can do that. Uh, but the ancient armory is is over here. This bunker. I aim for the wrong ones. And so, let's do the tail blaster. Oh, so let's jump. <clears throat> last time I visited Prime was November of last year. This is from 65. Months since I've been a blur. Flew out last night to oversee installation of the central armature and the master override, you're welcome, Ted, which was completed by 0430. So I decided to grab a few hours of sleep here before heading back to ZD. Called Gaia before I batted down, ostensibly to update her on the site plan, but the truth is I missed her. I've developed the habit of speaking to her before I sleep. Seems to be the only thing that calms me these days. Walked to a message from Mosvald. The Odyssey launched yesterday, so terrestrial life's chance of survival has doubled. Why then do I feel so uneasy? I just keep wondering what kind of world Farzinus will create if the ship reaches its destination so many decades from now. And I worry about the Alpha build of Apollo. So much knowledge, so few restraints, and no failsafes. How will they avoid repeating our mistakes? What's to stop them from playing God? Ordered the Odyssey message to the Alphas. Neoda replied in less than a minute with a poem, of course. The building of the ship by Longfellow. And it's long, alright. I didn't read all of it, but it seems to be about launching a ship rather than building one. This stanza, or couplet, or whatever, leapt out at me. Humanity, with all its fears, with all its hopes for future years, is hanging breathless on thy feet. Yeah, Odyssey and Zero Dawn both. Speaking of which, I should get back to ZD. Guess I should stop by Naoto's lab and check on Demeter's progress too. If I can get out of there without a volume of Tennyson pressed into my hands, I'll count myself lucky. Till next time. Next 
60, November 64, this is July of 65. Okay, what can I blast? Grazers. Let's blast Grazers. Also fish. Why are there no fish? Really good at knocking them down. Not bad, actually. Catch you on the next one. That Terror Blaster thing is pretty good actually. Too bad there's so few am so little ammo for it. Training grounds. the box now. Cavern bow. Raccoon bone. Wood bundle. Fox bone.
These are uh, all opened. Opened, opened, open. All the traps. Okay. Yeah, okay. Go to campfire. Let's talk about what you have and what I have. Clean talk card, you can have it. Machine call, ravager lens, watch your heart. A fox bone, raccoon bone. And this, I need more corruption glaze. And you can have all of that. Sell the uncommon ones. And all of my traps. Okay, not all of my traps. I really should use more traps. Okay. Potions. Yeah, I have a ton of resources. Ammo. Wait, no tail blaster charge? Yeah, you suck. I can always use these. Echo shell and metal vessel. Okay. Now, to the ruins. How did we say we climbed this thing? Piggy. Looks good. Looks like Elizabeth's armor. I'll shake it out later. There, fits. I just need to slot in one more. That's two. It's some kind of code. Okay. Maybe there's a clue nearby. Twelve. Three. Maybe there's some more information nearby. Something six. that will tell me how this works. Looks like each dial has four positions. Um, Nine. Get each dial in the right position. Did it. Now to check the door. Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism, release the clamps. Ultra weave armor, experimental personal armor, nano fiber construction with inlaid micro projector network. Why don't you take the whole fucking thing? Why do you have to break it apart? I think the old ones use numbers like this to indicate time. Ultra wave progress. Major Gale. To General Aaron Harris. He wanted, General, he wanted fast, cheap and good, and that's what we're going to deliver. By using a flexible nanofiber weave instead of plating, and enhancing protection with a 400 electron volt hard light microprojector, we've reduced our testing cycle from weeks to days. And I'm confident we can get the suit out by next month. With enough production to cover dozens of elite units. At least, at least. Better yet, it will be half the weight, half the cost, and offer twice the mobility. All we need is the balance of our funding. 
a few more texts and another experienced test subject. I know resources are stretched to the breaking point, but any more delays will jeopardize the schedule, so please advise ASAP. May God be with you and Jane in these dark times. Simplify. Just need to install these power cells. That should do it. Only two more. Just one more. There we go. The last one. All powered up. Now to get the dials in position. There That's a good question. Kind of <coughs> Where are they counting, counting from? There we go. The last one. All powered up. Now to get the dials in position. Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism, release the clamps. Okay. Let's assume zero is up top. So 90, 180, 270, 360, 450, 540, 630. But that's not it. So turn everything counterclockwise once. Still no. Still no. But this is zero. Ninety, one eighty, two seventy, three sixty, four fifty. 360, 450, 540, 630. Are you counting the wrong way? Let's flip everything. say this is 90, so this is 270, and this is 360. Did it. Okay. Let's have a look at that armor inside. All right, now let's see what we can do with this material. Well, the whole thing? Obtain Shield Weaver Outfit Box. Why not take the whole armor? Why break it apart? Fine. Move. Move. Can't carry more. First of all, let's get out of here. Shield Weaver. Shield Weaver. 
Ancient technology salvaged by Aloy and stitched to normal leather. Projects a damage absorbing force shield. It takes time to recharge when depleted. How's that? Is that corruption glaze? Thank you. Fishies. Where are all the fish? Seriously. What's that you have there? Huh. Petra. So you must be Aloy then. I thought there'd be more of you. More of me. Thicker, I suppose. More of a gear wheel, less of a ringlet. Don't get me wrong, you're very well struck. <laughs> Do all Osirim flirt at the most inopportune times? Inopportune? Battle hasn't even started yet. Petra Forge Woman, I hail from the Free Heap. I'll be heading back in the next dust storm. Murad asked me to check over the city arsenal first. Cannons have aged well, but I've cleared their throats so they can really roar. Good. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it then. Okay, what is this thing? Hold to load ammo from nearby pile, release to fire. What? Looks with me. Ouch. Okay. And guess what you're doing here? It hits nice and wide. No need to aim it like a bow. Nice. Hang on, I'm gonna put it aside so I can talk to you. Try me now. Nice contraption. Uh, let's do this. Cool. Have you just polished that armor, Who's it? Of course. Uh, isn't that a little... Aloy. Teb. I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. With the guard under the last key. I'll cry for those days. Let me look at the supply crate. I bet those traitors oh, are awesome. Oh, Journal. October 65, Halloween. Girls came by trick-or-treating dressed up like me. Should have seen that coming. I gave him a half-eaten packet of dandy wafers as a treat and kicked him out. But not before he invited me to some kind of Italian horror extravaganza he organized for ZD staff. Seriously, as though there isn't enough horror in the world already. Anyway, I was already scheduled to fly out of here to G Prime for final inspections when Harris and the President's delegation. With Harris and the President's delegation. Ted was there too, and he was not looking good. He kept fidgeting and couldn't seem to look me in the face without blinking. I was relieved when he boarded his vault and flew back to Thebes. <coughs> Though I guess I shouldn't complain. If he wants to build himself a deluxe shelter to ride out the apocalypse, let him. Keeps him out of Elysium and away from me. Harry is stuck around, stuck around long enough to give me a detailed briefing on the strategic situation. 
Basically, we've entered the terminal phase, as though the color of the sky when I was flying over here wasn't clue enough. Another two or three weeks, and the atmosphere won't be breathable. The last vestiges of European West African civil brigades are trapped with their backs against the Atlantic. The swarm that scuttled across Antarctica is crossing the Straits of Magellan, about to start its death crawl up South America towards the, the Amazon. All the work we did to reconstitute the rainforest, and it comes to this. And advanced elements of Pacific swarms are already skirmishing with units on the Kalmar seawall. Sea the noose is tightening. Projections show we can still finish in time, but the margin of error is plus or minus 10 days. Not a good spread. If the plague breaks through ahead of schedule, well, it just can't. I will not let that happen. Enough writing. I need to get back to zero dawn. The realm will just conveniently lose Durval and transport to Mainspring. Is that? Vanasha! Little Huntress! You called, so here I am. Ready to fight? Fight? I thought you just wanted tea and conversation. Is there a battle coming? I wasn't informed. <laughs> well, that can't be true. You're always informed. Ah, so I am. We've only met a few times, and yet you know me so well. I don't think I know you at all. But I'd like to. Hmm. You're cool. When I hear that line, it usually means something else. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I've been waiting for this fight my whole life. The enemy we face today is the same that turned Meridian into a slave pit and Sunfall into a bloodbath. Fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children, and say it's the will of the sun. I hate them, Aloy. I've got the scars of their whips on my back to prove it. And today, we can get rid of them once and for all. I said I came for you, but that was only half the truth. I came for them. This time, they're not getting away. I'm with you, Vanasha. We'll fight them together. Look, I got new armor for this. I won't forget it, little Huntress. Tomorrow, may the sun rise in a better world. Can we see your back? No, your back is covered. Uh, General? Hey, Loy. Um, at ease, Uthid. Meridian will be glad to have you on its side. And I am too. The honor is mine. You saved my epitaph from being a fine soldier, but a fool of a man. <laughs> I'm hoping you won't need any kind of epitaph just yet. As the sun wills. When you found me, I was trying to eke out a glorious death. But now, a glorious life seems more preferable. To watch Edelman play in the low gardens again. Still surrounded by a dozen guards, but... What you did, Aloy, it was done well. Yep. Although, I can't shake this road, Vinasha. <laughs> she delights in goading me, like brazen colors waved before a behemoth. Do you want me to ask her to stop? No. She's right, though. I accept it. Well, then. Meridian shall stand and shadow shall fall. I swear it. Here's to that, Uthid. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, anyone else cool here? Elida, Lida. I'm, I'm pleased to see you, but what are you doing here? I'm helping prepare for the battle. Elida. If a troll were here, we would have fought together. I know it. So I'm doing everything I can. Digging battlements, collecting herbs, anything that makes a difference. Good for you. I can't take his place. Nothing can take his place. But I'm here for him. For both of us. Cool. I understand what it was he saw in you. He'll always be with me. Sun and shadow still meet for a moment. Every dawn and dusk. I should give you this. To help in the battle. By the sun, I hope you don't need it. Thank you, Alita. Be safe. Antidote. Cool. So, these are all the people I gathered in my side quests. Is there someone there of importance? Isn't that him from the Battle of the Dawn? Can't. Oh, hi, Neil. Glad you're here. Neil? Hey, Eloy. They told me your name. I said, hair like a splash of blood, tenacious as a scrapper's jaws. I've thought about what you said. 
Every time, the wound you gave me caught on my ribs. But I didn't wound you. <laughs> by metal. Still, I forgive. A duel is such a fleeting joy. If one of us had ended the other, we'd have missed all this. Exactly. The weight before blood is shed. Like the scrape of a blade across your teeth. Nil, you're making it difficult to be glad to see you. But you're needed. The battle will be hard. Hard? I was assured the odds would be near impossible. And you signed up anyway? Impossible odds, fine company, killing without consequence. How could I resist? Yeah. Well, I don't like to boast. But you do. Oh, that's a rock. Okay. How many men do you think kill you. you kill in the battle, Lucid? Nakoa. Nakoa. You came to fight. Hi. How could I not? During the Red Raids, there was only one Karja Butcher the Nora feared more than Zaid. Helis. I would stand against any army he leads, no matter how strong. For the Nora he terrorized, for myself, and for my father. We'll stop him. You have my word. Your word means a lot, especially now. Because of you, I hear the sacred land is opened. Yes. If we win, I can go home. It'll be good to see Jan again. I'm with you, Aloy. Until the end. Cool. And here we have... Geneva. Geneva. They called you back to duty. So, you're the one behind all oh, this commotion. Hi. Who made Sun King Avad finally show his sword arm from behind those robes? A king can be fierce and fair, Geneva. He's a good man. A smart man, too. He had Murad offer all my prisoners a royal pardon if they'd fight for Meridian. The whole motley lot of them agreed. Didn't take much convincing. With your kind of convincing? I don't doubt it. <laughs> ha! This time I went easy on them. Those who commit the crime of attacking Meridian, they'll see less of my lenient side. May the sun blaze at your back, Aloy. Good to have you here. Okay, so we have these guys here. That's a nice spear, Uthid. <laughs> Thank you. I like the way you grip it. <laughs> Enough, woman. <laughs> Can't I climb up to the battlements? How do I get up there? There are, there are ropes from there. How do you get up there? How do you swing down from there if you can't get up there? Yeah, this one won't take anything. Okay. Let's go to the battlements. I like my new outfit. Journal. October 65. No, that's what I already had. This is not a climb. This is the estate. I'm going the wrong way.
Ooh, hi. You're the hunter from the Banuk Grove. I remember you also, Nora. The machines shook free of their slumber after you arrived. Raged and fought. Uh, well, that, that wasn't my fault. <laughs> no, I'm thanking you. That night, I decided I would not go back to Banur. I would take my hunt into these lands. So many machines, even demons. Spidery, skittering, without the blue light in them. Dead things that must be killed again. Our enemies dug up an army of them. An army? Yes, that's why I came. Good. I'll wait. Cool. What do we have here? Alana! Why are you here? I'm your hawk. Where else would I be? Defending Meridian with Avad? I leave that to the rest of the lodge. I will not stand aside while one of mine fights alone. Not again. Are you sure you... You're risking your life for all of us. You can't ask me to stand by and watch. Not when I have the power to change it. Then I won't ask you. It's settled. I will fight by your side. My only request... Name it. Leave the biggest machine for me. Well, I'll think about it. No promises. <laughs> uh, I'll consider it. Wait, is there someone <laughs> down here? Nice place you have here. Protecting the spire. It rises taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their frilled armor look like turkeys. Mm. But there are so many. And now we are so few. They are not our foe. <laughs> not this time. Quiet now. She comes. Sona? Be not War Chief Sona. War Chief, you. You seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all. But my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. Cool. That's the band, okay. Then we have... We have Varl. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow, the anointed doesn't like it. <laughs> she doesn't well, much like, like being, being called, called anointed, anointed either. Either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian... What do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. For all what's wrong. You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. <laughs> Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? <laughs> Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. 
and we must fight a metal devil because the goddess says or because you say I think the goddess and I are in agreement we're both glad you're here so am I cool nice friend you have with the bow nice hell okay who else is here What do we have here? Oh, I'm jiggling all over the place. Nothing? Okay. I really like when you have this around. So who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. What does that even mean? It's when the moon gets in front of the sun, idiot. <laughs> Is that supposed to sound scary or something? I don't know. They used to be Karja. Karja are always yammering about sun and shade. Well, if they used to be Karja, how tough can they be? Yeah, they're best guys, just like birds. We'll rip their little feathers off. And let's not get cocky, boys. Hey, Aaron. Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. Lots of machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Let's... Big. Mm -hmm. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? Yeah, At the front, front of the line! line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit them like a hammer till they can't, can't hit, hit back! back. <laughs> Damn right! <laughs> you hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. I'm here for you? And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. Okay. Now, it's time to go back. So back journal. Yeah, January 66. <clears throat> Such a close thing. It's been what, 43 hours since Hera swarmed me? Said collapse of the Eastern Lion was imminent. Swarms launching some kind of pincer maneuver versus the Wichita salient. Five or six days more and I think Gaia could have launched without our help. I really do. We had to scramble. ZD became a madhouse. Absolute bedlam. Every team rushing to stabilize code and lock it down as gammas got evacuated and then betas. Once Gaia was on the way, I gathered the alphas together to give them the bad news. Felt like I was going to throw up, but they already knew of course. They knew the walk wasn't really finished. Close, but not quite there. Still tests to run, kings to smooth, walks to do. So they accepted it. No Elysium for us. We'll spend the rest of our lives here, testing and polishing each subordinate function to perfection. Guess that's what you get when you recruit a bunch of obsessive perfectionists. I managed not to cry until I got back to my office. So here we are, setting up Gaia Prime. And yeah, this is a close thing. Makes me feel nauseated all over again when I contemplate how the fate of life would hinge on coincidence. If I'd never proposed the Lightkeeper Protocol, there would never would have been living spaces constructed here. If I'd abandoned the protocol sooner, the necessary life support systems never would have been installed. If, if, if. At least if we won't have to endure the at least we won't have to endure the creepiness of raising and training clones of ourselves. The genetic material was never processed out of the cradle sites, so it's not even possible. For which I'm glad. I really, really wouldn't want to spend time around a young Travis State raised by Travis State. No, I'll be up it'll be up to us to protect perfect Gaia. One generation only. Update. That was General Harris. The salient has collapsed. USLC expects to be overrun in two days. It gives us 72 hours at best to lock down and seal up. 
buried alive for life's sake. I'll go to the others. Give me all the rest of your boxes. I didn't get the other blue gleams. I didn't get those lenses. Goods for a fair price. Oh, no regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. Get to cover. Let the soldiers do their jobs. Don't pass up the Who can eat when you're waiting to? Fight for your life. Well, is that thing? Let's have a check. No, a colorful discussion. The army can't get into the light. They never make it across the place. No, that's not it. They're here. What is it? I've heard an army marches on the gate. What? What's this? Huh. Huh. Hmm. Where the hell is that apartment? Another attack on the city? What did we do to deserve this? Oh. Okay. Who's that? Bolin's apartment feels empty. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? No, I think everything's covered. Yeah, and you haven't slept in ages. Tutorials are done, Quarter Zone's done, Cauldron's done. All the Honeycomb's done, Tolnex done, Bandit Camp's done, Erin's done. Just the Frozen Wilds. Yeah, there aren't any more Cauldrons I know of. I can override Storm Bells and, and Thunder Charles. Oh yeah. It's all done. Okay, here we go. How could you sleep, Elizabeth, with... A weight like this pressing on you. How did you rust after you lost your family? Silence? Are you there? Guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. Ma'am, there are signs from the west. Sun King Avad awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Campfires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not wood smoke. Then what is it? 
Detonation charges. It's the end. Or how it begins, anyway. Well, that makes the trip shorter. Deathbringers you spoke of. To the guns! To the guns! Now! By the sun, do as she says! Set moving, people. All of you, be ready to fire! Will the guns hold them back? Not indefinitely. What was that? Oh, he's here, great. Helis! No! Rally the vanguard! Send reinforcements! Aloy, no! We need those guns! He will cut you down! Not this time! No, this time I send him. You have vexed me long enough. Should have fought me in a sun ring then. No, I won't. Oh yeah, you want to play like that? First of all, let's do this, and then switch to the rattler, and let's do this. Why do you Guide me! The end is inevitable. Accept it. Accept your weakness. Locked again. Only endless night awaits you. If the Deathbringers keep firing, this bridge will go. Want to damage? Let's do damage. Meridian must run red to be cleansed. What? Give me the gun. This can't take much more of this. Damn it. It's giving way. He's quick. Lock again. Can't let him in close. What are you before the terror of the sun? The one who will take you down! Come get me. I am chosen. You came from nothing. He's quick. You will die on nothing. Chosen? This was not meant to be. You're done. Hades is next. 
The buried shadow will save me. I cannot. Yeah, I really don't have time for this. I need to kill a god. Nice resist weaves. This will come in handy. Anything I missed? I'm guessing. Oh, this will open. Yeah, give me everything. We From Meridian! Hold the line! Where do you need me? Take up a cannon! On the platform! Can't track. Okay. Good, 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 good. I really like those cannons. Raise yeah, arms so. again, west. West. Stay down.
don't want to be here when that hits. Coming for him. Gotta get to another platform. Stormbird! Stormbird! Cast cannons. Oof. <sighs> Incoming! It's gonna breach the door. Not how you end. Come on. Hades. Just get up and shove the thing in there. Aloy. 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 I'm sorry, a door fell on me. My old mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. The others. Are they... No, no. Wounded, but alive, mostly. The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that... thing with them. Take care of the others, Teb. I've got to go. Follow the trail of the statue. Whoa! Okay, bring the display back up a bit. I'm oh, sorry, I can't stop. I have to go. 
Give me healing potion, there is healing potion. This is where I belong, Aloy. But the spire calls for you. Have fun with that. Exiting Meridian Village. Strength is not yet spent. I earned it by ice and snow. I'm not too late. Hades is transmitting. Go and stop him. They bury people. Use fire, fire in the exhaust ports. Come on. All right, they eat well, yes. I must conversion initiated. Hades has started the signal. It must have gotten through the defenses. Honora. Aaron's vanguard. I have to get up there. This broke too. What? They're alive. Aloy! It's Aloy! Well, you, you can see that. Yeah. We thought you'd fallen at the ridge. Almost. No, the ridge fell on me. <laughs> Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. It's my fight. I can't ask you to come with me. 
We were about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. Hawk and Thrush, let's go. Let I me should just stock up. Stock up. Last chance. Health potions. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Who's coming? No one? Two of these before, you know? Get ready! It's a death! Yeah, it's a death one. For me, ow, ow, ow. Yeah, this can't be removed. Okay, let's go old school.
Execute. The door finder! It's focusing on you! I can't back down now. Bring it on then. We're running out of time. Let them mob you, Aloy. Got it. Ow. Can I still have my weapons? More of them on the way. Keep firing. Time enough to get the machines back. 
you are done. Welcome to the universe. Master Override armed. To activate state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek. Health of Prime. Master Override activated. Purging extinction protocol. Yeah, you can take it apart now. <laughs> hey, pick it up! You still need the, the thing. It's still a good thing. <laughs> Good job, people. Where's Talana? Talana made it, right? I don't think it's still on dialogue. So there was, uh, okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV. So the grass caught fire. <laughs> and uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. <laughs> Query. You were how old? Six. <laughs> My mother was home, thank God. So she called the fire department, and after, she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds because Aww. there were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care, and that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke query what did she say she said i had to care she said elizabeth being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better you have to use your smarts to count for something to serve life not death you often tell stories of your mother but you are childless I never had time. I guess it was for the best. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her to be curious and willful, unstoppable, Aww. even. 
but with enough compassion to heal the world just a little bit. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in. I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Oh, Thank the, you. The, the flowers. I'll catch you tomorrow. He's responsible for all the flowers. <sighs> oh, that's the any credits. So sad. Yeah, so that's why the machines are so weird because when they are in imagine them. No use being smart if you can't make the world better. This is a great game, too bad it's a shitty port. Great credits.
This animation was great. This animation was awesome. Christian's was also pretty good. The conversations here weren't as deep as Mass Effect, for example, but okay. We're going to show the singularity. Pretty sure I saw singularity in one cauldron. <laughs> lots of lots of visual effects. Oh, now I gotta talk to Rost before I go to the Frozen Wilds. Audio, very important. QA, also very important. The rotation's back. IT. Is this the cast? No, special thanks. Anyone I know? Pony Booth, mate, I'm not sure. That's a lot of names, really quickly. That's a lot of special things. Hideo Kojima, really. Secret agent Mark Sony. Oh, amazing cosplay of a fan artist. We love you. Production babies. Two from the Griffion family, two from the De Jong family. <coughs> two 
to the Nifu Boom family. Love and memory. The film. Thank you for playing. Thank you for gaming. I really wish you would have made a better port. Wasn't wild. No, I'm not. I'm not there yet. Okay, what happens next? That's that's my lens. What did you do? Hello, old friend. Remember me? We've still so much to discuss. So much you never revealed. Your masters, for example. The ones who sent the signal that woke you. Who are they? Knowledge has its rewards, don't you think? Well, let's begin. Yeah, who sent the goddamn signal? Congratulations on defeating Hades and protecting Gaia's dream of an Earth reborn. The state of the world has been restored to just before the looming shadow, prior to the final battle of Meridian. You kept a loot and experience from your successful playthrough. Additionally, new game plus has been unlocked, granting the option to play the game again from the beginning with all the loot and skills you have accumulated throughout this playthrough. The new game plus loadout of your current inventory and skills has been created. To play in this mode, simply choose the new game plus option in the main menu. You can also create new loadouts via the pause menu in the game. Uh -huh. So I should have done the Frozen Wilds before the final battle. Create new game plus loadout. Got it. Let's do this. Trust Araya, they say. She'll return to us, they say. And yet here we are, waiting. Hey, move the moon. The lost. No, we're not doing the looming shadow, we're doing into the frozen wilds. Bad omen for the ritual. What's going on here? You 
ready for a rare sight, Nora. Burgrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. What's special about today? Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye. A nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send-off. <clears throat> Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for, falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the demon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage! My spear! Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok! What? We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. A daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wipe out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Orea vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her, but no. Here's Big Oritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Is Oritok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. <laughs> but when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade boot, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. What's a Warwick? What are these Warwicks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something, and you might get a place. Some Warwicks come and go. 
Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Wericks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warrick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. For real? And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratak and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum, and they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Orea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Araya's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. The Banuk? What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Mm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice, a place like this. Yeah, a land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. <laughs> well, believe me, I've tried to convince them, but a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. Silence? Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin, like a shaman? Uh. I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked <laughs> up on each other. Araya's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. Good luck. Uh, tell me about you. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this Steel forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Oh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. Who's we? We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh. Mm, how do I? Put it, uh... Women? No, 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 no. <laughs> Independent. <laughs> Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuk camp. Okay. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rests. <sighs> I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. I can find the trail. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratok can tell me more about Araya or Thunder's Drum. We Might be worth a shot. The Shaman's Path. Yo, dude. You seem sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood. Yes. 
a sudden deluge, without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lalai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, till it disappeared under the waters. Deep Din? What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. So Deep Din is a place and a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now. But our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it. Or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy? Or remembering. So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next, the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. A flood without rain. That is strange. The dam collapsed. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like, but I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? Oh, I might be able to do that. Uh... Ooh. Twelve blue gleam. The Banuk champion bow. Banuk power shot bow. And the Banuk striker bow. And they cost blue gleam. Banuk Huerak Runner. Slow health recovery. Banuk Ice Hunter. Kaljan Blazon Master. And the Nova Silent Hunter Master. I like it. Fill me up with health potions. Give me ammo. Example, Banuk Gambler's box. Can I get zero gleam, blue gleam for this? Banuk Tandor box. I don't know. Badger bone, goat bone, goat skin, and badger bone. Huh. No, I don't think I have anything to sell. I have desert glass. Okay. Let's go. Blue gleam merchant. Is there a regular merchant? Actually, it doesn't matter because I'm buying what I need. What a logged.
Ooh, special merchant. New quest. Nice pools. Waterlogged. New settlement. Oh, right. Um, show me everything again. Yeah, there's a tall neck here I want to meet. No more music. Our struggles don't concern me. Outlander. Trying to help. I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak? Um. Did your Warwick come from this place? No, we rallied most of our hunters from across Banyur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remained with me, those who survived. There are other Werax in Song's Edge, too? Yes. The village has its own life, for all Banuku need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. Orea knows about this, Daemon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not an Outlander's. This Daemon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. You're set on going back to the mountain? I put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. I don't remember much about the Red Raids. Probably lucky for me. Okay. What is this? Is this a blue gleam? No. That's a sound to sleep to, not live to. There's no life left in that tall neck at the frost figure. It's sad to see it okay. Let's go by closest thing. You have Whoa, come what? Far north, girl. Head back. Oh, I'm glad my father isn't around. It would torment him to see his legacy drowned. When the old ones were fresh in their graves and our numbers were still small, it was she who led us through the frozen waste. Is that Leon Wayne? We also remember the ravenous tribe who delighted in sucking the marrow from our broken bones. Everywhere Banukai and her Warak fled, the ravenous tribe were never far behind. Seeking a way to defeat them, Banukai went into the wastes and let the wind whip her cheeks. And when the cold brought sleep, she dreamt of light. She saw it behind the world, a great calming sheet of icy blue. And she saw something new. Herds of machines, each filled with the same blue light. When she woke, she knew which star to follow. She walked for many days and nights until she arrived at a temple built from sparkling ice. At the gates of the temple, she was met by the machines from her dream, who bowed to her as she entered. Inside, Banukai discovered the blue light, bubbling from a hole in the snowy earth like a spring. You bid me come, she said. My people need aid. Will you provide it? The machines whispered to Banukai. We go where the light goes, for we are its chosen vessels. 
There is darkness in your heart. It cannot hold the light for long. Carry it to your people if you must. But the cost will be great. Banukai waded into the pool. The light reared like a nest of snakes and struck Banukai, piercing her skin, filling her up. That's why the cable. Banukai did not scream, though she was in agony. Banukai did not collapse, though her limbs shook. She climbed from the pool and carried the light inside her. She marched toward home and the machines marched behind her. As she walked, the light struggled to push its way out of her, but the machines were there to aid her. She sewed her body shut with their cables, patched herself with their metal, and kept the light within. When she arrived, the forces of the Ravnus tribe had surrounded the camp. Although the light had left her with a thousand wounds, Banukai charged. And because she held the light, the machines followed. The Ravenous tribe killed many, but those in camp rushed to join the battle. They gathered pieces of the fallen machines and from them fashioned weapons. And it was with these that Banukai's people repaid the suffering the Ravenous tribe had wrought upon them. When quiet descended, Banukai finally fell. The machines bowed their heads, and her werak wept. Aww. The light she'd held within her drifted from her wounds and rose to the sky. And for just a moment, before life left her, Banukai knew the truth of the blue light. And she felt peace. Yep. We remember Banukai. The first to crawl De from definitely the king king the world. When the old ones were fresh in their graves and our numbers were still small, it was she. Smoke is always poured, but these days it gushes. Oh, what's that? Okay. Why oh, is it so difficult to reach you, man? Quite a view you've got up here. It's a useful perspective. How fleeting we are when the world is so wide. From up here, you can see how the light paints across the land. Ever changing. That's a lesson. All our marks will pass. That outlook sounds a little depressing for a painter. Haven't met many artists, have you? Song's Edge needs new stories. I scrubbed its past off this rock to start anew. But a new start needs new colors. Fresh pigments. Like none have seen. Actually, she sounds like uh, Ashley Johnson. Have you always been a painter? I've always painted. But I wasn't a painter until I was driven out of Banur. Up there, the markings are eternal. They paint over the same lines, the same colors, over and over. As a child, I learned from copying them. As I grew, my heart sank at the familiarity. All of us Banuk might as well be trapped in glacier ice. We have the look of life, but never really moving. The Banuk rock paintings are impressive, but, um... You want to know what they mean? Yeah. That's not the right question, but... I'll answer anyway. Some are a call to the machines. The sacred shapes you see on metal casings, or on a cauldron door. Do the machines listen to the call? I don't know. Others, like mine, are a call to the tribe. You could say, inspiration, or 
prophecy. And sometimes even men listen, if the painting is loud enough. Aha. Uh -huh. He wants pigments. Give me a map if I get her animal things. These pigments you want. Where should I look for them? Salts gather at the edges of geysers and hot pools. Crystals cling to the rocks and cliffs. Okay. I'll see what I can find for you. Seek out the vibrant ones. A spring of sudden color among snow or rock or metal. That's its own reward. But I'd reward you as well. <laughs> Thanks. I hope it's all the way down. Okay, not all the way down. This is enough. Okay. Closest. When the old ones were fresh in their graves and our numbers were still small, I'd rival them. Okay, if you know more about how this daemon affects the machines, I've got to find Araya. And to do that, I need to talk to her apprentice, who followed the river north. Ajo! Badger, 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 badger. Oh, it's not all ice. Outlander, wait, wait a moment. That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. Mm -hmm. This? It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah. A shaman? Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past, Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. Okay. That's what I do with spear improvements. That's a problem. Okay, that one's first then. We pull neck first. Nice pull. Aha! Wait. What? This? Light salt. Light salt. Okay. Outlanders. Carja Outlanders. 
Yeah, what are the cards you're doing here? May the sun grant you a, a portion of its wisdom, young huntress. Uh huh. No, it was only a matter of time before an offer. Bergren said Araya's apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully, not too far. A tallneck? What did it take to knock one of those over? They're about to last. Encased in ice. It fell a long time ago. But the scavenger hasn't started. Shock. Right. Uh, shock. Let's get this up. Right. Oh god, I need to run for it. But What did we say about... Oh, the Frozen Wild Collection. Animal figurine. Uh, demonic machines. Strength, shock, and corruption. Override impossible. Yeah, I got all overrides, all possible overrides unlocked. I have one blue gleam. I don't care. the scavengers. Should scan the tall neck. See how deep the damage goes. Oh, what's this? Shock coil.
I could use my focus to look around. Watch us, Lint Hawks. Ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even reactivate it. Get at what's inside its head. All right. Purpose. Oh, culture. Culture. I need an epsilon override. But he doesn't like freeze or someone blowing up his canister. in me. This might even the odds. Cool. Who wants to play with me? Come here, get me. Come on.
Aha. Oh, let's go. The necks are built tough. Mashamati. What is the heal? Badger. That was not what I needed. Okay. It's in the cave. It's in a cave. Blue gleams. Can stop tensing up. What? Who noticed? That red eye? Don't count. Right, climb. Handling coil. You have it. Actually, don't. This tonic part's still in one piece.
Well, that fits. Sure hope it works. Well, it's in better shape than it was. Okay, if I'm right, I just need to get the power flowing through it again. And if I'm wrong, at least no one's watching. Should wake you up. Easy now. Easy. Ugh. Ugh. Hold something. Right, it's never easy. be a good spot for jumping onto the tall neck. Yeah, it's already passed. <laughs> I just have to reach its head. Almost everything. A hunting ground and a blue gleam and a bandit camp. Okay, let's find now too and see what the hell that thing is. I think this would be a good place as any. Good. 
I can use this. A girl. Damn, it's tougher than a ball. Okay, switching to high capacity arrows. Flying meat. Squirrel. What? It disappeared. Be Naltuk looking out of that tower. It looks Hello? like it's sending out a pulse or signal. What the hell is that thing? Stuns override machines. Cooling elements. Weakness damage. Uh, want to talk to me about it? Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Asaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. What can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Aratok said this daemon was... frenzying machines? Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. These towers, were they part of your corruption? No. Oh, those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Yes. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. All right, you want to stop the spread of the daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Aloy. Good. If you fall to the daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Araya. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're going to tell me where she is. Okay. They're scanning for me. Oh. 
I know you're fine. Okay. Yeah, you fell apart. What else did we have? Those assholes. Krampus. I know what Scrapples like too. No, don't chase me. Don't chase me. The tower helps nearby machines, but it can be destroyed. Happy now? Now we know how to deal with the machines and the towers. The daemon's next. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the Ice Rasps. You'll have to walk the Shaman's Path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the Shaman's Path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. 
Bergen told me you're a Rhea's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the Chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, you will you tell her, I have faith she will hear the voice again. All right, I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. Okay, there's a blue gleam merchant here, there's a water logged here. Let's lock the campfire first. Okay, this one takes it out quickly. You're welcome.
must be the ruin Laula was talking about. Deep in. Flooded too, like she said. Snap moss. Probably came from somewhere like river. Follow the river, find its source. Seems simple enough. That's definitely a dam. These mountains must be the ice rasps. The shaman's path begins somewhere up above. Yeah, I'm not sure. But I don't have anything for you. But I will take this. And I will take this. Come on, goat. machine fluid. Damn, you're tough. Hmm. What am I looking for?
Okay, there's a river here. Now what? Animal figurine. Thanks. I don't get it. Meat. So I need to do sixty damage. This thing does fourteen. And that one does twenty seven. Yeah. I'm hunting with the sharp shot. Okay, but what I understand Come at me, then come at me. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do about this river. Nope. 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 Try again. Come down. Come here. will do nicely. Okay, someone please tell me what's with the river. Go to the lake, follow the river, find an entrance. Entrance. I mean, go underwater. How do you dive?
cross between my teeth. Well, the hell is a fucking thing. This is the entrance. There. That must be where the water's coming from. Looks like something the old ones built. Yeah, it's a dam. That's what I thought. It just it was nowhere near where the waypoint was. It's a figure of. Must have been an... an ancient animal, like a cougar. A life predatory animal described two of seven in commemorative set 2042 Montana Recreations. Ancient animal. Okay, campfire, let's save. The great catch. Badger, 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 badger. I mean, you've been here, you've hung your lamps or whatever. Well, somebody wanted in. Nearly blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door. Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the din? Bunker door. Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? The lock positions. Helpful. Another holographic interface. Yeah, there but must I'm, be some kind of code. But I'm missing a piece. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. We could show. Intake tower malfunction. Drainage system offline. That's probably not good news. No. Someone's been through here. Not that long ago either. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> well, you don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. My forge gone cold. But no, but nope. my game is crashing. 
So that's going to be it for now. See you next time.